What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another player of the week review slash breakdown. We've got a Trent Alexander-Arnold that is a CMF box-to-box -box player. We've also got a DMF Bruno and we have this prolific winger, a left winger, uh, Zelarian as well, who looks to be a very good hot prospect coming up through the ranks. So I think all eyes will be on Trent today. I think a lot of people will definitely try to spin for him. Um, we're going to get a look at all of the players here firstly, and these are part of the trio of players that you can sign and you get a free one as well with the event. Now there's some good players in here, but again, I preface this by always saying that it depends on what type of team that you have. It depends on what the other stars you have in your squad already. I do think that there is couple, a couple here that you'll probably want to not really bother. I mean, the thing with these player of the week, guys, is when you sign them, right, obviously a big thing was part, uh, partly to do with the fact that they were always on A rating, and that's kind of gone now. Um, So, you know, with them being on C form, you probably have players in the position that you're not going to really want to replace, but they can come in if you are a newcomer. These can be a good boost for you, right? These three players here, even though Zelarian is one of the, you know, featured players at the, at the, in the graphic, I think that, you know, skill-wise and speed-wise and everything-wise, I think he's just a little bit off the top-class wingers in the game. I would also say the same for this whole player. Um, even though he's a fairly good stats, he's got excellent speed, acceleration, and balance. His passing and his dribbling is just that little bit under. Now, he does have first-time shot, but then he doesn't have true passing, and he doesn't have one-touch pass, which is a killer, in my opinion, for a whole player, especially if you are going to be playing with him in that role of just creating, you know, creating stuff. You know, you're going to be competing against the likes of Messi and Neymar, and, you know, people will have Cruyff. Um, he does have double touch, but I think double touch is not as important as true passing or, of course, that all elusive one touch pass. I know you can't add the player skills to these cards, but sometimes they just get the perfect balance of everything. And this card is not it. We also have this left back Munoz. This guy as well has the same issues. He's a very defensive fullback. Um, and he's probably one of the one of the picks of it because I love fullbacks that do have interception and blocker. This guy can also play right, left, or central, which is always key. He's got unwavering form. He's a good height for a left back. He's got excellent player skills, acrobatic finishing as well, um, which is an unusual one. Sliding tackle, fighting spirit, blocker and interception, which is huge. And of course, he has that beautiful stat of 89 aggression and 93 defensive engagement. I've kind of changed tact and I'm going to be doing a video on it. Defensive engagement has become a lot more important than it used to be before. It used to all be about aggression and defensive awareness. Now it's about defensive engagement. And I'm going to do a video to show you why, especially if you've been playing the game for a long way, and the fact that you can now retrain the players, right? The one thing I would say on this guy is that you have to have a very good system to get him into it because he is a little bit kind of uh, slow and less mobile compared to other fast left midfield or left backs, right? We also have a center back. This guy is just an average center back. I'm not going to spend too much time on him. He does have blocker. He does have standard form. His defensive stats are okay. Speed and acceleration do hit the, you know, I always like my center backs, especially if they're not a destroyer to be 75 plus, unless you're playing as a really, you know, deep kind of center back that's just going to sit in the pocket like Van Dyke or someone like that. He's not bad, but he is a bit more of a kind of a DMF style player. I think as a DMF, he's quite solid. And then not rushing through it, we've also got this left midfielder as well as a Roman flank, uh, Noah Lang. He's got unwavering form. He's kind of like a cheap, messy alternative with the stats. He's got the acceleration, the dribbling, the finishing, and the balance. And he is, of course, right-footed. The Roman flank is a very nice formation if you're able to, or play style, if you're able to cut in and shoot. He does have true pass and double touch and heel trick. And, of course, he can play through the middle, SS, right wing, left wing, or left mid. I like this card a lot, to be fair. Um, we've got our stereotypical goalkeeper here as well. Um, stats, you know, don't get out of the 85 zone apart from the goalkeeper reach which at his height isn't going to be too much of a concern anyway um he does have low punt and long throw so that does kind of save him if you do spin him not bad at all and of course we have Perisic as a left back right so at the moment he has got no club in this as you can see there but he's a good player he's got blocker and interception as well as one touch pass which is insane he's got pinpoint crossing he also has a long ranger incisive run amazing run and trickster as a left back he can play pretty much any position um, down the left flank and on the right flank he can play right wing right mid and of course he can play as an SS he's down as a defensive full back these are the type of players that interest me this is what I think they should be doing um, with the player of the weeks you know like choosing players that are playing in different formations different tactics different styles and giving you different versions of the cards instead of giving you you know 
six or seven of the same messy AMF or creative midfielder, um, attacking midfielder positions or players, like just do li- something a little different like this. So I'd be very interested in getting that card because I think, you know, he's going to be super um, OP especially with the rest of the stats that he has with the stamina, the dribbling, the tight possession and the lofted pass. And of course, he's got 80 finishing as well, which if you are using him as a 3-5-2 wing back, he's going to be a beast, especially when he's got interception and blocker. That's incredible. And then we move on to the top four, right? So we have our top four here. We're going to just pop into Bruno at the moment. He's down as a DMF, which is unusual enough. You can play him CMF as well. He's got excellent passing abilities and passing skills. You've got one touch pass, true passing. You've also got pinpoint crossing, outside curler and interception. So I do like this card. Again, people complain that he's a little bit slow. I think that the free card that they released to Bruno is pretty similar to this, but I know people want to try him as a DMF. Uh, I personally wouldn't try him as a DMF, even though his aggression and tackling is fairly high. I think he's a bit wasted there. Kiesa, one big thing going for Kiesa is every one of his cards has got super sub. This guy's got track back and fighting spirit. So if you're looking for a very hard work and right midfielder, I wouldn't even play him on the wing. I would just use um, his hard work and ability as part of a 3-5-2. He would fit in perfectly with my squad if I spin for him. He would be a perfect player to bring in. The only thing he doesn't have is one touch pass, which is a little bit of a killer on this card. But for me, I'd be bringing him on after about the 60th minute and just going to town on the flanks. And then we have Kamavinga. Just to round us off, we've two left. Kamavinga, Orchestrator, 94 overall. We've had lots of versions of him. Obviously, he's playing left back for Real Madrid. Um, when you see him here, and again, you've got one touch pass, way to pass, low loft to pass, track back, interception, sliding tackle, everything that you could possibly want defensively, except high aggression, and defensive engagement again. I mean, they give you clues as to what's important statistically wise um, every time that they rank up or rate, rate these players week by week. So I do think defensive engagement is one to take a look at. And again, speed, acceleration, dribbling, passing, all above average for a player in this position. Now, last but not least, we have got Trent Alexander-Arnold. A lot of people waiting on this card, lads. He's got early crosser, speeding bullet and long range, long ball expert as his AI playing styles. And he's also got as his player skills, long range curler, one touch pass, true passing, weighted pass, pinpoint crossing, outside curler, low lofted pass. But then he's got track back interception and acrobatic clearance as well. I think you could play him, obviously, as a right back, but I genuinely would be playing him as a CMF and going box to box with him. This guy looks absolutely insane. Yes, his acceleration and his speed isn't massive, and obviously the C rating is going to take away a little bit from this card as well, but the lofted pass, the curl, the low pass, the ball control, and the defensive engagement, again, you see it there. I think this is going to be a really you know energetic center midfielder, kind of in a similar fashion to the likes of Bellingham. Not as defensive, but in terms of Trent just being able to like deliver killer passes and being an absolute machine on and off the ball, stamina-wise, I think he'll be an absolute beast. And the player skills, lads, he literally has the perfect blend of player skills and playing styles there, as you see. So that is it for this week's Player of the Weeks. We will be back with another episode where we will do the League One Uber Eats. Let me know if you want the J-League J Monthly MVPs and let me know um, what else you want. We do have a couple of things. I will do a roundup video as well. But until next time, lads, don't forget to subscribe. We're nearly at 30,000 followers. We will be doing a big, 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 big giveaway at, th- at 30,000. And I will be streaming later as well at about half one, 1.30 p.m. So in about three hours time. All right, lads, I'll talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Peace.